All right, so next we are doing the souvenir uh, errand. I needed to take a break, man, because honestly, I was like way too fucking high, bro, and that shit was confusing the hell out of me. Um, but now that I've kind of recuperated a little bit, I don't even know if that was the right word. We can uh, we can do this now. So we're gonna go all the way across the map, and we're gonna do uh, this quest now. Um, oh, this is up here by the dig site, actually. I think. Oh no, it's it's over here. Legacy's landfall. Let's go. Mm. Hey. New quest. Please, could you spare a moment? Ancestor, please. It's about my brother. I don't mean to disturb you, but I've run my request through every channel and I've gotten nowhere. Just take me through it. Apologies. My name is Jomar. I'm the weapons officer for this expedition. It's my job to ensure the troops are armed and prepared for what's out there. And I've failed to do so. My younger brother, Oris, his unit was sent to scout the tower on the northern side of the island. They should have returned by now. The overseer has denied my request for a search party, and defying him would mean dismissal. Or worse. You think they might be alive? Oris has been obsessed with San Francisco ever since I can remember. He jumped at the chance to join this expedition. I have to believe that fate isn't cruel enough to make this place his tomb. If you help me, I'll get you access to any weapon in my stock. If I make my way up north, I'll look for your brother. Thank you. If it helps, my brother carried an ancestral relic with him. I believe your focus might be able to pick it up. What kind of relic? A small metal piece dangling from a chain with a hologram of San Francisco, which is why my brother always had it with him. The diviners speculated it was some kind of beacon inviting the ancestors to visit the city. Speculated? So there was data on it they couldn't read? It was deemed lost knowledge. If my brother truly is gone, could you maybe bring the relic back for me? It meant so much to Oris. I, I'd like to keep it safe for him. Of course. All right. Here we go. Where are we going for this? Going up here. All right, let's let's fast travel a little bit closer. I must be the town that Joe Horn mentioned. And it's full of sun wings. That can't be good. There, on the beach. A coin scout. I need to get closer. See if he's carrying a relic like Jomar mentioned. Four dead scouts. I should check if one of them is Jomar's brother. But I'll need to get rid of those machines first. No relic. Can't be Jomar's brother. Oh, that scared the fuck out of me. I thought that was our uh, Sunwing coming to attack us. Oh! Why did you have to miss? Come on, come on! Here we go! Oh, you motherfucker! Ah! 
I freaking love that weapon. So, Relic, not sure if either of them are Oris. Maybe one of them dropped it as they fought off the machines? My focus might show me more. Huh. Nothing. Maybe my focus can pick up their tracks instead? There. Maybe Oris escaped the machines. Better see where it leads. Alright, let's go. It looks like it gave chase, but Oris fought it off. Doesn't look like plasma will do much damage. It looks like he ran inside the tower. Way to escape those sunlings up there. I mean, shit, I would too. Tracks end here. We must have climbed up this tower. Go! Time for more platforming. So I decided to go the lazy route here and speed this up for you guys because um, this was a fight that was going on for a very, very long time and um, I felt like if I just did like a simple ass cut, like it would have been kind of jarring because I was fighting these things for such a long time that it literally went from like nighttime into day as you can see. So I just decided to speed this up. Um, overall, I'm, sh I'm trying to show like the raw fights to you guys in these last like 
15 to 20 parts because like I mean uh in Zero Dawn when I did that game like the last like 15 parts were were pretty much like um like raw footage like live stream so I'm trying to make these more like drawn out and uh entertaining uh for you guys or just raw you know so you can see the whole thing play out but uh yeah we're about to beat these things so um yeah, I'm done talking. God damn it! Dude, stop dodging my shit! That was ridiculous! God. All right, into the tower we go. Now that they're fucking gone. far up is this? Dead end. Maybe if I go outside, I can find another way up. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Alright, we're back on track. Another close one. This must be ours. But there's only one way to be sure. I better check for the relic. And my focus picked up data on it. It's not a beacon, it's a tourist map of San Francisco. If the Quen could read this, they wouldn't need to send scouts out blind. I should tell Alva. Aloy, I'm here. Alva, I found some data I think Bohai might be interested in seeing. I'm sending it to you now. I'll pass it along. Thanks. I better take this relic back with me. Give it back to Jomar. Along with the bad news. Okay. Let's go. That one wasn't so bad. Ancestor, you've returned. Did you? I'm sorry. How did he die? The tower was a sunwing nest. He went in there looking for cover, but he was holding on to that when I found him. Horus. I read the data on it. It had a map that can help your people get the lay of the land without risking more scouts. All of us sharing it with Bohai right now. It's a good thing your brother protected it. I'd trade all the data in the legacy to have my little brother back. But I'm glad that something meaningful came from his death. As promised, you now have access to my weapon stock. If you bring me the right resources, I can make you anything you see there. Actually, why don't you give this a try? 
One of our best. And if it's of use, you know where to find more. Thank you. I'm really sorry for your loss. I know you are. And I'm grateful. Elite Cannon Rope Caster. Or Elite Canister Rope Caster. Nice. Should we spend our skill points? Ah, uh, we don't have enough yet. We need five to fully upgrade that. Um... Yeah, we'll do this. We're getting closer. Alright, what's the next one? Next one is going to be... Uh, broken locks. So we need to go to Camp Nowhere. Camp Nowhere is right here. Have I got news for you, Red? Everything okay there, Porgif? Ah! My steel flame friend! Behold! Oh, your lockbox. The one I found in the tunnel. Just the one! It was bequeathed to me when my dear Ma passed. Never could get the damn thing open, but the lock must have broken off when the rockbreaker attacked. Haven't seen its contents at long last. I want Marcia to have it. My sister. She could use it more than me. Hold on. If it was given to you, why couldn't you get it open? I lost the key. You know how it is with small objects, big hands. Not that you know how it is exactly. I mean, your hands are dainty, of course. No, not dainty. <laughs> well forged. That's it. Poor Guff. All right, I stole the box. It was supposed to go to Marsa, but I just wanted something of my ma's to remember her by. So the box rightfully belongs to your sister, and now you want to return it. What was inside that made you change your mind? Nothing. I just thought she'd want it back. She and my ma were close. Me, well, guess you could say I was always the stray spark. All right, Porgif. Sounds like you want me to give this box to your sister. Where is she? That is a good question. I know she was working in Chain Scrape last. Huh. I have a friend there. I could ask her. Ha <laughs> ha! Well forced and well connected. <laughs> Where is she gonna put this thing? If I'm in the area, I will try to find your sister. At least to hear her side of the story. Okay. Well, if you see Marsha, tell her. I still remember the flying keg. I bet Petra would know where I can find Marsa. I should pay her a visit the next time I'm in Chain Scrape. Got something you want to hear, Red? All right, let's let's access our stash first. Get everything that we can stocked up. I I, I feel like this is going to be an easy quest. I need, we need more metal bone. I'm gonna keep stocking up, and uh, when we have uh, enough, then we'll go. All right, two chain scrape. Take this fucking marker off. We're we talking to Petra. It's been a long time since we talked to her. Well, no 
Someone wants to play strike. But I couldn't find no? any booze around here. Anyone. Don't the talk So what's really? new? Aloy machine hunter. Hey. I'm looking for an Osram named Marsa. She might be working here in Chainscrape. Do you know her? Marsa? <laughs> yeah, of course. Tough gal. Puts her back into her work. Not like the drunken louts around here. Why are you looking for her? I met her brother out west. He asked me to return a family heirloom to her. Huh. I didn't know Marsa had a brother. Anyway, last I heard she was doing a job out by those old Karja signal towers. Northeast of here. Thanks. Hmm. Ostrom family's squabbles ain't pretty. Best of luck wading into that muck. I have to go. It was good to see you again, Petra. And you, flame hair. Don't be a stranger. I love Petra so much. Ah! Alright, um... Lego, man. Damn it. Alright, we gotta just fly up there. That'll be the way to get up there. Come on! Stretch those knees. I see him or her. Petra said part of sister should be working around here. I have a feeling she would be thrilled to hear from her brother. But at least she'll get her lockbox back. Marsa? Yeah? What's it to Oh! The Normie. How do you know my name? I uh met your brother Porgif out west. He asked me to give you this. My ma's lockbox. That miserable chuff stole this from me. By the forge, he broke the lock too. Uh, actually, that was from a rock breaker. Oh, so he's dead then? No, uh, after he saw what was inside, he wanted you to have it. Oh, then I guess guilt finally caught up with him. Let's see here. A jewel. Hm. Surprised he didn't pocket it for himself. And a letter. It's from my ma. Her last wish was that I make amends with Porgov. That doesn't make sense. Porgov caused her all the family so much grief. Always running off to chase easy shards instead of helping dad at the forge. Why would I want him back in my life? If Porgov read that letter, then maybe he wants to make amends too. He also asked me to tell you that he remembers the flying keg. <laughs> that bug. When we were kids, we used to grab a metal panel and slide down this big hill. But one day, Porgov got the idea to use an old keg. He climbed inside and off he went. Only, he didn't stop at the bottom of the hill. That keg kept rolling with Porgov still inside, right off a ledge. You'd think the keg sprouted wings the way it soared. Then splash, right into the lake. Thought he drowned for sure, but he lugged himself out onto the shore and shouted, again! Sounds like a good memory. <laughs> Think that might be the only time I can remember us not fighting. Just lying there by the lake, laughing till it hurt to breathe. When you met my brother, did he look okay? As well as you can expect for someone out in the middle of the desert. You could see for yourself? Nah. I mean, I heard some folks are headed out that way, but... I don't know. I'll think about it. Thank you for bringing me this. Here. For your troubles. Thank you. If you decide to go, you'll find your brother at a place called Camp Nowhere. Of course he'd end up nowhere. Damn, that was easy! Holy shit! But I enjoyed it though, it was a nice change of pace. Alright, let's go back down to Survivor. I'm a survivor! Okay, no. Uh, resist more damage when on the critical health. Okay, cool. 
Then we got to do this one, which is how many? Five? So we need 10 more to finish this up. These ones are finished up. Then it'll be this and this. Okay. Um, so now that that's done, knock that one out pretty quick. We are doing Tides of Justice. Okay, where is this one? Yeah, this is the one we're going to right here. Let's go! Why, thank you. I salute you too, sir. You said their craft wasn't seaworthy. It's given the fact that you've never set foot on the boat, is a guess. Who are these raiders you're talking about? Some of Regala's supporters were hunted down near here. Most fought to the death, but one group had other ideas. They escaped pursuit and raided Tide's Reach. They were last seen out to sea to the west. The raiders escaped out to sea? We think that's why they raided the settlement. They built a... a flat boat. Bits of wood tied together. A uh, raft? I wouldn't want to go to sea on one. But it seems that was the raiders' plan. Slaughter our sleeping guards, steal supplies, and sail straight west. Are you worried they might come back? The supplies they stole won't last forever, and they were prepared to gut our guards to get them. People here want justice. That won't happen until those fugitives are found. We can fly out to sea to search for those raiders. All right. I'll get my kit dry at least. Damn it, I hate this. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a tougher one, I, I think. But I'm ready for a bit of a challenge. That last errand was a nice change of pace, but it was like incredibly easy. We have a few still that are going to be pretty tough. All right. Let's go. Wreckage. More raft. Maybe those fugitives didn't make it too far after all. I'll only find out if I go down there. There's someone down on the rocky outcrop. Time to get off. Woo! You're one of the raiders who attacked Tide's Reach? Where are the others? Holed up on top of the tower across the sea to the west. Where I left them. I thought that they were true Tanakh, but they're murderers, not soldiers. The Tanakh, the Tide's Reach, think you should all face justice. Then they should come and get me themselves. If you want justice, then find the others. Leave me here to face the sea. My last battle. Here we go. That was such a casual encounter. <laughs> so those fugitives are in a tower to the west. If they're close to landfall, they could be a threat to the climb. We better take care of them. Alright, I'll cut to when we get there. 
There's definitely movement down there. I can't let these fugitives escape. Motherfucker! We got that guy. Come on, come on, come down here, bitch. Okay, that's the Raiders, and they are a threat. Come on. Come on, dude. Oh my god. That was fucking gonna bullshit. Feel further. All right, you're so done. Of them. Those waiters won't be attacking Tides Reach again, or anyone else. Whew. All right, that's done. That was a tough one. That's done. Let's see. We're getting through these super quick. All right. Um, a hunt to remember. Okay, so this one is going to be... Up here, I believe. 